Hello, hello. So I got this old switch from CNET and it's an 8 port switch and about a year ago it just died on me. The power just shut down and uh, I took it apart. Yeah, I drilled a hole because this is the sort of network card. This is the cooler for it. And these are the uh, ports, the eight ports. And uh, yeah, so this is how it looks. It's supposed to be like this. And uh, this is the power cable that goes to the unit. And I just took it apart just to see uh, if there's something wrong with the components and I don't know if you can actually see it but uh, the caps they start to bulge a little bit uh, especially this one and that one and also that one actually. So uh, I don't know if it's the capacitors that are actually bathing or if it's something else. So I don't know if it's actually the this board or if it's the uh, power supply because this is the uh, power supply on it and the back side it's just a regular you know this input so it's 220 volts in or 230 and um, I can also see that this big capacitor started to bulge they should be completely flat so I don't know if it's the power supply or the sort of main unit but uh, I try to uh, just connect the power cable to the uh, main board and just uh, measure the main board but there doesn't seem to be any power uh, from this so I might think it's the power supply that's actually broken but uh, the thing is that I don't know what kind of voltage there is on this cable you see there are four cables two brown and two black and I would guess it's like 12 volts or something but it doesn't really say on the uh, circuit board either. Uh, maybe it says on the cable now. So I have no clue what kind of voltage it is because it seems to be broken. Because if I knew that, I would could kind of. This is the sort of power connector for it. So uh, what I could do. It's just solder some cables here, remove the power supply and just let the cables run out. Um, I looked at these cap capacitors uh, that are close to this. This uh, seems to be, has to do with the, sort of the power supply, also up here. Um, and I looked at this one, this is rated at uh, 25 volts. So I guess it's not going about 25 volts. So I guess it's like about uh, 12 volts or somewhere around there or maybe 16 volts. But uh, I don't really dare to try. Um, so uh, do you know if there's any other things to check? Uh, what's kind of faulty and it seems to be manufactured at uh, 2005 I can I don't know if you can see the number there 0518 well that might be just May the 18th so yeah I don't know what to do because I will I will actually need a switch because when this died I had to uh, use an old 5 port switch 
And right now I'm actually using all of those five ports. And I need some more. And yeah, I'm actually thinking of getting a new one, but right now I don't really have the money. So yeah. <laughs> Would you kind of guess how many bolts there are? Yeah, so this is kind of how basic uh, eight port switch looks like inside. The cooler unit underneath here is the kind of processor. I guess this is some kind of clock. And there's a bunch of different capacitors, stuff like that over there. And this is the uh, front panel diodes, and this is for the power diode. And uh, these are actually covered, so that you don't really see the top ones here. But uh, this indicate if it's yeah. This is just uh, if it has a link because it's eight ports. The switch I have now it uh, is a five port, and it indicates if it's 100 megabit or gigabit. But this just shows if it got a link or not. So, yeah, so this is kind of, let's see if I can get it. It would look something like this. So yeah, this is what I'm troubleshooting now. And if you, if I'm going to buy a new switch, could you kind of recommend a sort of Home home switch, a gigabit switch. I was looking at the Linksys Nate port that was kind of cheap. Uh, I don't really have that much money. I don't need any managed switch or anything. I just need a regular gigabit switch, at least eight ports. So yeah, that's that. So see you later.